Hi guys, it's Jordan Dreyer, the savvy millennial voice actress, enduring, persistent. Yeah, so today is the fourth day of the Omer, and if you want to learn more about the Omer, you can go to the links in the description below, okay? Let's get started. Today's focus is Netzach of Hesed, the endurance of loving kindness. It can also be seen as leadership and victory, which of course is what happens when you do something long enough. You study music a long time, you become a leader in the field, and victorious because you stayed in it so long. This one and the next one, Hod, are seen as the legs of the sefirot. You can't get much done if you don't have persistence and humility to stand on. Is your love for others enduring? Like, does it last through the bad weather times, or are you only a fair weather friend? If you yourself are having a hard time, do you let others in all the while? I have a tendency to think that when people are mad at me, that means they don't love or like me anymore. It's a childish thing, and I find myself seeking reassurance that they still like me, even despite my transgression. This is something on my spiritual curriculum, trusting that they'll still be my friend after all the apologies and some time apart. In the opposite way, when people transgress against me, I remember it. If it's a one-time thing, I manage to get back to having fun with them shortly. My twin and I would often get really angry at each other, then be laughing the next minute. And I treat others like this as well. But if it becomes a habit, like they're always late when I'm there to pick them up, then I stop offering to drive them. Endurance needs limits too. How about love of your chosen career path? Will that love carry you through the difficult, long road? This is a common one for actors. Will your love of storytelling overcome the rejections and financial insecurity? Each year as I continue on this voice acting journey, I'm getting a healthier view of voiceover as a marathon, because everybody says that, and thus putting less pressure on myself to arrive so that I can have fun in other areas, such as counting the Omer. What can we do for today? How about wait five minutes before responding in anger? Write about why you love that person and that no matter what they do, like make up a specific example, you'll still love them. I think I'll journal about that today in regards to voiceover. It's always good. Re-encouragement. See you next time.